Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the next match on tonight's card here at the Green Park. <laughs> East versus West 11. That's a classic match up next on the right hand in the light heavyweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to first of all welcome this man to the table. He is the best of the Bulgarians. Multiple Bulgarian national champion, EAF European champion, and WAF champion of the world, Krasimir Kostadino! Here we go, guys. Krasimir is an absolute legend. If you go back 10 years, you listen to press conference the other night, they had this match and Krasi won 5-0. So are we going to see a repeat or is John Brzezink going to get redemption tonight? Ostadinov looking ready and revved for this challenge. And it is against a very, very special athlete. Ladies and gentlemen, now making his way to the table, hailing from and representing the United States of America, is the arm wrestler widely recognized, universally recognized, as the greatest of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, look upon and welcome the perfect storm, John Brzezik! Arm wrestling community, I said it 10 years ago. What an absolute blessing it is to witness the GOAT in action. Once again, five years ago then three years ago, and we're here now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have no idea how many more times we will be graced with the greatest to ever do it. It almost seems like time stands still for this man's career. But make no mistake about it, the end is coming eventually. Hopefully, Michael Todd, this is not the last one, but talking to John Berzink, it seems clear that he's not sure how much more the GOAT has in his tank. No, absolutely. You can tell that uh, he, he can always get matches because he's John Berzink, but you know he is questioning himself. Does he still have it to compete at this level? Um, I do think this match means something to him because of the prior match they had 10 years ago. So I'm excited to see John get in this match and grind and, and let us witness a, another amazing performance by the GOAT. I'm going to hand this thing over to Neil Pickup, and I'm going to the GOAT's corner. Oh, Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, I'll see you downstairs. Here we go, Mike. Classic matchup. The storm about to blow through Pendick. Or is he? We're about to find out real soon. Um, like Travis and I was just talking, it's such a pleasure to be able to sit here and witness John Brzezink still arm wrestle after this 40-year career. But I think he's got a shot. Grazi is a legend. He's amazing. If John can keep that wrist flat and not have to rely on his shoulder so much, I definitely see him having having several lanes that he can win this. But if Grazi sinks that hook, it could be a bad night. A lot of questions here. And Interesting oh, opportunity. Not happy with the position on the grip oh, there. He needs to see the back of his hand and 105 hey. kilos this match. Yes. yes, he's going very high. No. 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 Hey. No. Yes. No, no, no. It's nice to see John a little revved up, Mike. Yes, I love it when he gets revved up. When you see John get that fire, he's a dangerous individual. I mean, he's still a legitimate threat to anyone. John Rosink, 58 years of age. He's facing a man who's bested him a number of times over the super match format. Oh, the wrist of a weapon. And that's a good position from John Rosink. He's John, John looks good. He's, high, he's holding the hook well with pronation engaged. Look like he's almost got, Crosby's almost flattening his own wrist every time he surges. Now, we know that Krasimiro's exceptional, truly exceptional endurance, but John, so experienced, and he'll try to 
hang up that hand. You can see Prassi just feeding himself, giving some arm to gain ground in terms of the depth of the hook. And John needs to be a little cautious of that. Speaking to him yesterday, feels like he doesn't have any top end strength in that hook. And fatigue has been an issue for him of late. It is not for Krasimir Kostadinov. Good stuff from Brazink there. Gain ground, but it's the endurance, Mike. It was the endurance, but also John fully committed, supinated into that hook, holding off. Then he went from the top row. He went for the, the transition to the top row, which opened up his arm. I honestly think had John stayed in that committed thing and maybe even transitioned to a press, he could have possibly finished that match. It looked great for him early, but Krasimir then sacrificed a little position, went B-side, but set his hook deeper. And he's reliant on that endurance, Krasimir. We've seen him so many times go to that, mask in his corner. So There's Travis. For Travis is good. That's where John's going to be next round, I guess, right? That is correct. And Matt Mask. What a performance from that man tonight. Very impressive performance from Matt. Like, had a very game opponent, Wagner Bortolato, and he, he definitely showed out. He said us, told us that in 2024 is going to be his year, and he's starting off with a bang for sure. Didn't he? John Brzezink, what have you got left? It was lovely to see John get a little fired in that setup. Took a great position early, Mike. If John's shoulder can hold up, like if John will trust it, which is, you know, it's a scary thing. He's had shoulder problems for a while. If he can trust that shoulder, get a little bit of position, I fully think he can go into a press or even can just stay in that drag hook with him if he stays A-side. I'd really believe it's only when he went outside to try to transition that Crosby might have been baiting him a little bit as well, but it only seemed like his arm opened up when he, he tried to transition to the top row to the outside move. Here we go. Rosink in the red shirt from the United States of America. Universally, the man recognized as the greatest arm wrestler of all time. His opponent is a multiple Bulgarian national, European and world champion, Krasimir Kostadinov of Bulgaria. Master arm wrestler. Oh, he's gotten wins on Levon. One of the most impressive things that I recall about Krasi was when Arsene Lilia was just tearing it up and he was able to beat him at the WF Worlds by going outside first to get at the traps to secure that hook. Very impressive. Undeniable. Resume. Stellar. Krasimir Kostadinov within that resume are wins over the man in the red shirt. He has faced Brzezink before and has notched victories against him. There's been a few opportunities when the guys faced each other at their prime, I would say. And this is certainly not an example of that. But what I would say is that he's always an exciting match to see two guys of this caliber. Brzezink in red. Casimir in black. Oh, oh position. yeah, nice top row. Why am I the second, second guy? John Brzezink's hand is such a weapon. It, his, he has the largest thumb. I mean, everyone looks at his hand. His hand is huge. But when you put his your thumb, thumb next to that guy's hand, his thumb is enormous. But yeah, it, that's the last thing to go is that hand and wrist. And, and John still has plenty of power. And it would be a shame if, if this was the last time we got to see him. I hope he continues to accept these matches and you know, keeps defying age and keeps putting on a show for us because it's awesome to see. I was speaking to John yesterday. We went, walked into the town here in Pendic and he was telling me that he still has the fire to arm wrestle, loves to arm wrestle, but feels the pressure that people want him to compete in A-class matchups. Uh, and tonight's another example of that. He's at the absolute pinnacle of the sport within the weight class. Um, I feel like he could drop a tear down and be in some incredibly entertaining matches, Mike. Super loose. <laughs> Just oh, absolutely. Yes. That's what I'm saying. For, there will be matches for John Brzezink as long as John Brzezink wants to arm wrestle. It's just how long will he be competing against the very best in the world, you know? It is a, it's a tall order when you ask him, but we have such respect and reverence for him that you want to see him compete against these young guys, you know? And Crosby's not a young guy. He's an experienced arm wrestler as well, but, you know, John's 59 years old, and he's still, still out there banging. Just the fact that he's able to expose the hand and wrist of an arm wrestler of the caliber of the much younger Krasimir Kostadinov. It's testament to the fact that Zink is a weapon. And he's got another solid position there, although he's open and extended off his arm. And Krasimir attacking with everything he's got to the side. And you do feel like Brzezink is struggling to regain the position on the arm. And Krasimir tightening, edging closer. He spoke yesterday about the pressure that he feels because of the win knocked up from bicep, Sasho. Look at the commitment there from Brzezink. Wide open and Krasimir diving sideways at him. Oh, John comes in. Oh, if he could have done that a little bit faster. If he could have done that a little bit faster. You and I both were watching it, you know. The funny thing is, mate, it's the moves are there. They're in his mind. 
they're, they're right there, but he we'll just can't perform the, the oh. movement with the Dyn Allen. You know, I mean, if you watch that, the dynamism he put into that when he was a younger man was Would have been crazy. Ridiculous. Yeah, as soon as he shoots he forward, he pecked deck sideways and just gets right on top of your arm. It would have been an incredible transition, but now that speed and pace just isn't there. But he just held up Krasimir for a good 15 seconds. Maybe longer. That open top row looked like it was there for a good 15, so I think he might have been, that might have been a 30-second round. And one thing we know about <laughs> Krasimir Kostadinov, this guy does not get tired easy. We've seen him in some absolute hellfire battles. So his will we see John aggressively go for a press, like drive into his arm and try to get a shoulder behind and have that shoulder come in? I really don't think so. I, I feel like if you, you look at John now, he's very conscious and aware that he needs to be measured in his approach, protect his arm. He doesn't want to dive into... Man, he just threw caution to the wind with that open top row. I mean, <laughs> don't talk about protecting your arm when his biceps exposed like that. John Brzezink was in that match. Like that, That's right there where those injuries happened. I'm going to take my hat off, mate. He definitely got open and he was still hanging on in there, but I think it was from a control position. It's that explosive movement that he, he fears, I think. Very so, possibly because he doesn't know if the shoulder's going to hold up. And we've yeah. all had long talks with John and yeah. his, his fear and his concern and his hesitation is from that injury in the shoulder. Yeah. And that's where you're missing it in the transition there, as we spoke about a moment ago, Mike. You know, He just hasn't got the confidence to, to chuck his frame at it. Uh, in the past... He had no concerns there, and, and my God, we saw some entertaining arm wrestling as a result. Here we go. A perfect storm. John Brzezink of the United States of America. That's the man in the red shirt. His opponent. I think he will go for his hand right here. He'll possibly try to get the strap. Do you want me to grip here like this? But I still think he's going to, I think we're going to see that shoulder commitment. Okay, I'll grip like that. A lot of issues on the setups for both. Does Crosby oh, just have a smaller thumb? Because John does not seem comfortable. He's, and he'll, you know, Crosby will play the game and suck his thumb back. I mean, this is yeah. a highly go, intelligent go, go. <sighs> Commitment to that top roll again, but Krasimir's died to No, the, the only move I think top, uh, Crosby has to win here is to, to revert to a top roll. I think if he keeps going that way, John's going to crack his wrist. Hard exposure to the side there, and Crosby feeling that. John, John can keep hard. putting fatigue in those fingers. This is the third round, though, isn't it? It is indeed. Oh, oh the transition attempt, the unsuccessful again. And just that dynamism he's missing there, mate. There's still some lanes. But Krasimir records the win, and there you thank see you, the thank you, thank you. show of respect. Of course, of course. That's all you can do when you, when you finish a match with John Brzezink. It's just thank him for the opportunity, you know what I mean? Looking at that on the replay there, Mike, we could see that the story of tonight really was around endurance and just that explosivity. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's still it's, it's as, as a John Brzezink fan, you you hate to see him lose, but you know it just because you know, you know what John's done, what he's accomplished, what he's capable of, even if he just trusted his arm a little bit more, maybe you know. But Crosby, spectacular performance from Crosby. I better head downstairs, Mike. I'll let you carry on up here. We got another mega match coming up. I will be back in a second. I'm here with the winner, Krasimir Kostadino. What a moment. You said 10 years later, again fighting John, and it wasn't an easy match. It, it, it wasn't easy, just I was super prepared. The last three months, I've trained my wrist and fingers so much, so I'm glad that my training's paid off. John almost had some success with that top roll, but eventually you cut through his pronation. Was that something you've been working on? Actually, the first round when he went in the hook, I felt more uncomfortable. After that, I felt pre pretty good. Uh, you've been having your ups and downs. This is a big <coughs> victory for you. John is still in a contendership versus anyone. Uh, no one goes through him easy. We talked about this before. Uh, is there someone you want from East versus West Ross or maybe? Todd Hutchins. For five years already, I would like to pull Todd Hutchins. Yeah, they, no, uh, nobody yet have beaten, have beat him inside. I want to try to do that. 
Krasimir Gostadino, your winner today.